Hello, this video is going to show how we're able to test on targets and later on I shall be giving a, a demonstration and I'll be using this particular evaluation board but alternatively I could have used a, a, a PIC 16 or a PIC 18 these are just 8-bit devices I could have used a 16-bit DSP I could have used a 32-bit ARM I could have used several ARM devices or I could use a multi-core ARM or even a multi-core power PC and that's just a small selection of the evaluation boards that I could have used but the one I'm going to be using today is this one this is a low-cost MSP430 launchpad and this has 2k of RAM and 16k of FRAM or non-volatile memory it also has a, a UART which is available via the USB port and here we can see I've configured that to be COM port 12. And it also has a, an EasyFET debugger that I'm going to be able to use to download code to the target, execute, and then I'll be able to get data off the target. Now, here we have an example project that I use in order to check I'm able to, first of all, build an application, and then I need to download it to the target, execute it on the target, and get data off. This is basically my version of Hello World. And if we scroll down, we can see basically I want to print a message out of the, the port and I want to print this message. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So how are we going to get data off the target? That's the main problem here. So we have a number of different mechanisms we can use. And if we take a, a look here, we can see that the default mechanism is I'm going to use a script that will control the debugger. And the advantage of this is as long as the debugger is connected, then there's no need to modify the program. The script will automatically allow us to, to get data off the target. So let's go and execute this. So I've got a build that will run the, the make. And there we can see that's now built my executable. So now I'm going to be able to go and run this. So let's execute the run.bat, and this is now going to connect to the debugger, and it's then going to download to the target. And in this particular case, we're using the, the script mechanism. So here we're setting breakpoints, and then we're reading the data from the target via the debugger. And now we can see we've saved all this into a file on the host. So that's proved I can reliably get data off the target using the script there. Now, this, as we saw, was a little slow. So one thing we can do to speed this up is we could say, OK, let's use file IO instead of a script. So I'm going to switch the mechanism here from script to file IO. And I also need to change it here for my run.bat file. And this has got the advantage of being much faster. So let's go back here and let's do another build. OK, so that's now built. Let's now execute. And once again, we're going to connect to the target. We're going to download to the target. And this time we're going to switch the mode to file I.O. This is going to require more resources. So we can see the size of the executable is larger, but it's run much faster. OK, and again, the main thing is we've got data reliably off the target. Now, sometimes you might want to execute tests without the debugger actually being connected, in which case a very popular mechanism is to use a serial port. So let's now switch the mode to use a serial port. And again, I'll tell this to when it runs to use a serial port. So let's save this. And once again, let's go now and do the, the build. OK, so that's now built. Now I'm going to execute. And this time it's actually opening an external application. I could have used Hyperterm or, or some other mechanism for capturing what's happening. But again, we can see we're downloading to the target. And now it's sending the data out of the serial port. And we're capturing it inside this tool here, which will then save it into a file on the host. So again, we can see this is actually quite slow here because I'm using uh, 9,600 baud rate. But of course, I could configure that to run a lot faster. But again, 
most importantly, we've got data off the target reliably. So the advantage of working with a serial port is I don't actually need to use the debugger. So let's check this out. Let me go and start TerraTerm. And inside TerraTerm, I'm going to switch the serial port to 9600. OK, and now I'm going to unplug my board and plug it back in. And as I do so, that should now start. And as we can see, we're now sending the data out of the serial port and capturing it on the host. So in this particular case, we're able to capture the data without actually using the debugger. And there I could, if I wanted, save this information now into a file. OK, so that's just a, a quick demonstration showing effectively how we're able to test on, on a target. And as we saw, we were three different mechanisms of getting data off the target, either using a script or file I.O. or alternatively using a serial port. And if you'd like inform more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRA. Thank you.